we've got a question that's come in from Warren. He's got a crack in his wall. We're getting a lot of questions these days, a lot of them about damp or cracks. If you've got a question that's other than those, it'd be nice to see it just to give us a bit of variety. So anyway, let's have a look at this crack. It looks fairly severe, doesn't it? So let's broaden that out. We can see a little bit more of what's going on there. And this is a crack in the side of the bay. So it would be just about where the bay joins the house. And that's not unusual because unfortunately, the way bays are built, we can see here, is this one has got hardly any load on it at all. It's um, just that bit of lean-to roof. So they didn't really bother putting a great foundation in there. They might have just chucked a bit of rubble down there and started building the brickwork on it. So it's not unusual, as Tom Jones would say, to to, uh, see a bay drop this rainwater pipe here there's the gully and Warren said that when he first moved in that was all blocked up with earth and it was overflowing so that could have added to the problem because once you get a bit of overflowing rainwater there then that's coming off the roof as well as his little lean-to bay there you get quite a lot of water in that area that would soften the ground and it could very easily have led to that bay dropping in that situation but the big mystery there was no real evidence of the crack on the outside of the wall but you can just see sneaking into the picture at the bottom there why that might be if we look over we can just sneak a little look at the neighbors building there to see that the bricks are markedly different there they change behind that rainwater pipe so i think what we're looking at here is a treat that somebody's put on which may just be a paint but maybe more than a paint it may be those brick effect renders that I've done in the past where you put them on and then you just rake out the pointing but however it's been done it's been done to cover that crack up in many ways it's done a pretty good job of that hasn't it you know you can't really see any evidence of that crack that would be the reason so the crack will be there going all the way through because this is a solid wall so there's no cap there but what can Warren do about it all he's got to do really is get a few helical tires just rake out the mortar in various places put those tires across to hack off a bit more plaster so he's got the tie going at least 150 millimeters either side of that crack if not slightly more I wouldn't want to go into that bit of cut back corner there because that bit of plastering feature is difficult for an amateur to replicate you can fill this bit of plaster in quite easily just by getting a straight edge across it or a trowel and you make a decent job of that maybe put a little bit of mesh in there at least several layers of fiberglass scrim in there to cover that crack up as best he can in the base coat of plaster before attempting to put the top coat of plaster on then put another layer of scrim in the top coat of the plaster that's the finished skim coat when that's done he won't have any more trouble from that crack so long as he keeps that rainwater gully clear it should be all right but what i would be tempted to do and i do kind of hesitate to give this advice really because different people have got different abilities but what I would do is I'd be looking to sling a bit of concrete under that bay and I would start by digging a hole just about here about three feet away from the bay and then maybe just prop that corner up somehow just with a bit of timber and then just dig out a little bit of that ground below that corner and chuck in some concrete and then leave a gap between the brickwork and the concrete and then when the concrete's set just ram a load of the concreting sand they call it sometimes the screeding sand that and some cement and just ram it under there so as i say almost dry it hardly needs any water just so it cakes up we call that dry packing so if you just ram some dry pack in over the top of the concrete in that area i don't think he's going to have any trouble at all from it in the future dig with caution because there is a gas pipe there you can see there's a gas meter on the corner of the house if he just digs in this area here i think he'd be fairly safe and then maybe a bit on the other side but it'll definitely help the situation i don't think he'll have anything to worry about and he can just tidy up that bit of brickwork there maybe just fill it in with a bit of render and then paint that brickwork again because it looks pretty horrible doesn't it come back and see me soon if you've got another question if you've got anything to add to this one what would you do in this situation i mean that's the fun of these really isn't it that everybody can chip in everybody can say something and uh, it all helps it all adds to the debate now, before you watch another skill builder video, it's that time again to guess the location. I think I made it a bit too easy last time, so see if you can get this one. Email us with the answer. First to get it right gets the prize. All I would say to that first person who guesses correctly, don't get your hopes up.